uh, general Iban what general belief in Iban culture. Uh, as, well, as we all know, uh, Iban people believe in Christianity uh, because of the Brook influences in the 1900. The, their, the European missionaries coming in to influence the Iban people to believe in Christianity. And moving on to the Muslims, uh, to the Muslim belief, which is uh, affected by the Kalimantans, the Borneos, the lower Borneos. Uh, back in the days uh, when the Sult uh, Islam Sultanate was on the rising, then some of it believe in animism. To go into the Iban religion itself, uh, we must know that uh, the Iban religion believes in a god that comes from the sky. And this one god from the sky is called Petara, which is the supreme god, leaders of all gods that, that I, will be, I will explain later on. Then there's uh, the past war heroes that victoriously won the Iban's war or maybe uh, passed away during the war is remembered and it's called uh, Orang Pangal Libau or Gelong and then uh, not forgetting the the ghost spirits and uh, the, the the dead ancestors of the past generations uh, in Iban in Iban gener generation line uh, moving on there's uh, seven gods that need to be known and those seven gods ranging from uh, God of War, which is uh, Sengalan Burong, and the and then moving uh, continue to God of Wealth, which is uh, Annamara. Uh, for Iban people to connect with gods, they have the celebration of Kawai, which is a festival or a celebration or as community activities done by the Iban people to invite the gods, invite the people of the sky and to entertain the god as well, god and goddesses, to, to, to gracefully appreciate what god give, give to them, which is the harvest and all the wealth that uh, Iban receive in the, in, in the year that Gawai is celebrated. And not forgetting that Gawai is also to, to have a sense of community between the Iban people in the in the area hello everyone i'm Fu from bc 17 today i want to talk about the iban traditional groups for men the traditional german of iban men is glambi and syrup there are two types of Glambi, which is surf and syllabus. Glambi worn by Iban during certain cameraises. Cutting of Glambi is very simple, which consists of a rectangular piece of cloth folded double. The loin cloth is a gammon of great antiquity. It's now this Instinctively injured among modern events. Black coal is the original material for loin cloth. The way to try a start is take a strip of material about 10 inch wide and 10 to 12 feet long. The end of the cloth is decorated with beautiful embroidery or women men Iban consumers wear sirat with a very long loin cloth around the waist and between the two stalks one end to the leg hanging in front which is dressed like a apron and the other end around the waist there should be a little tail equal sira in Iban in the back. The joint groups warm is the way is quite secure and will not feel off. Furthermore, they also wear accessories such as belt, helmet 
an ankle made for sliver and a head guard decorate with a home view feeder. Thank you everyone. Good evening, my name is Sanjit Singh from DC17 and today I'm going to be talking about traditional clothes for Iban women. The, the Iban traditional cloth costume for women is Mare Empang and Kain Kebat. Mare Empang is a combination of beads and hand-stitched cotton decoratives outer garment. It is usually red in color. Iban women require to wear Mare Empang at any occasion or festival the Najat or the traditional Iban dance performed by Iban women must wear the Mare Empang as part of the outer garment adoring the, her, her shoulder. Kain Kebat, which is a cloth patterned by the Ika, a Thai technique, which is a cloth pattern. Normally, the Kain Kebat is decorated with colorful stripes and patterns. It is made of cotton as well. The kain kebat is narrow and its length is only about until knee. The marik ampang, which is a chest adornment, the su tingi head dress, and other silver ornaments such as coin belt and bangles are worn with the kain kebat. Thank you.